New report finds ecstasy and cocaine less harmful than alcohol. I'm not sure if this is true. And this is just propaganda. I wouldn't necessarily want to test this in that relaki but it's an article from Mixmag. It says the following. A report by the Global Commission of Drug Policy has found that illegal substances like ecstasy and cocaine can have less damaging effects on individuals and communities than tobacco and alcohol. Huh. How do you take that first line? Illegal substances have less damaging effects. I guess because most, you know, um, what do you call it? Antisocial behavior or domestic violence disputes are based, stem from alcohol abuse, right? As opposed to people getting on ecstasy and cocaine because... I guess the fact that X and cocaine is so hard to get hold of in comparison to alcohol, right? You know, you can get hold of those things because people get hold of them, but you have to, you know, know somebody to get a hold of them. And whereas alcohol, you can just pop into any shop. Most um, residential areas have a 24 hour license or a 24 hour license, a 24, a 24 hour off license, or they have a store that's open quite late at night where you can purchase alcohol from. So I'm assuming that kind of might play into it, but let's read it on. Um, as a result, they have called for reclassification of certain drugs that reflects their actual social risk, which I'm, I'm a big fan of. The Global Commission on Drug Policy is made up of 14 ex-government officials. Together, they condemned the incoherence, the incoherence and inconsistency of harsh drug laws that are based on unreliable and scientifically dubious methods that arbitrarily punish the use of some substances more strongly than others. The group found that the current distinction between illegal and legal substances is not economically based on pharmaceutical research. It also distributes distorted this uh, distorted by the feeds into the moral morally charged perceptions about presumed good and evil they are pushing governments to reconsider classification uh, i'm a big fan of that right because i think i've spoken about it with my friends as well uh, about it like it's annoying how baby we are in society right where we can't decide what we can take or not take the government sort of decides for us and kind of regulates in that regard which is annoying and you only have to look at places like berlin which i go on about a lot on here i understand it's boring it's annoying but please excuse me but you know, I could you know I could throw a stone at a club you know within a five mile radius where most of the people in that establishment are off their heads on something, right? They're all doing some kind of drugs, right? And I can really count on one hand, if not no, not count at all, the amount of times I've seen a fight kick off at, in the Berlin club. It doesn't happen. It just does not happen. People just don't do that sort of thing. Um, people go there with a real um, ease, a real kind of um, sense of exploration. They want they're open to new experiences, meeting new people. And again, I think the drugs in some regard enhance that experience. Um, what you do find in a lot of Berlin clubs is probably less drinking and more drug taking than most clubs, I'd say, on average. I'm not sure how that works out. I'm not sure how you can compare it. If you could maybe say the amount of alcohol they get through in a week, I'm sure there's bars. I'm sure bar managers know how to measure that, right? There's a way to measure how much alcohol is being consumed in a general week, in a given week, sorry, um, from the punters and stuff. But all in all, I think, from my experience, that most Ber most Berlin clubs probably have people taking more drugs than they are drinking. And again, I've not seen any trouble. The trouble that I've always seen, especially in the UK, which is probably not a good, it's a probably a false equivalency, is that in our bars in the UK, they don't really open that long, right? So let's say a nightclub. A nightclub is open until 1, 12, 2 a.m. Most people like to go to a nightclub at 10, right? So already you're already, you know, you've already got only four hours or so to kind of party and kind of get into the kind of flow of things. And then by that time you get chucked out right on time, um, right, you know, on the, right, uh, right when the clock starts, strikes one or two, and you're kind of thrown out into the streets, um, uh, over intoxicated um, and looking for trouble. And that kind of is what sparks it. And I've always kind of said that a good thing would probably be to, to alleviate some of those issues, especially for the cities, would be to open up loads of different venues similar to what we have in Fold in Cannon Town in, you know, northwest and south of London. So you'd have a one location in each area of London where people could go and party until the late hours of the night. And it doesn't mean you're going to get in, doesn't mean you're going to want to go, but there is an option for you to go, right? It's like, you remember when you were out back in the day and someone suggests to you, oh, let's go to Egg. And you're endorsing, you be like, oh, it's too far, isn't it? Because you know it's the only place that's open until six or seven. But if you had somewhere near near enough to east where you could go to, I think, you know, Dulce's Cantal isn't that far. It's probably like 40 minutes you can get there. So you can go and party if you want to. Or you can go party somewhere in South Maryland. They had a location in Camberwell, in Croydon, or in Peckham, or in New Gross. You can do the same thing in Stanmore, wherever it may be, in West London. And you do the same thing in North. I think North, I already got it with the cause and a few other places there too. And that would really alleviate some of the pain in some of the places and bars and clubs. But at the moment, especially in pubs, um, you've got people starting drinking really early because they want to get the most amount of time in. 
So they start at four or after work and then they get hammered all the way until 12. So six hours of drinking. And, you know, by that time, you're already sloshed out of your mind. So, you know, or any kind of violence or harmful behavior is going to come off the back of that in general. Um, you know, I've seen fights kick off in smoking areas, kick off in queues, kick off in the toilets in bars and pubs in the UK. But in, honestly, in all my years of partying in Berlin, I've not seen one fight kick off in any shape or form in that kind of environment. People just don't allow it. It's not something It's not something that actually happens in those kind of environments. People are very good to kind of squash those things. Hey, look, it's not... And, and there's a real community aspect of it too. People are take... People are kind of invested in the space they're in. They don't want you to fuck it up because they want to come back again, right? If I'm in Berghain and people are like getting aggro, I'm going to stop it because I want to come back. I don't want to hear when I go back home that suddenly the government did a raid in Berghain and kind of shut it down. I don't want that. I want it to be a safe environment for everyone involved. Um, that's specifically what I'd like to happen. Um, but yeah, a um, really interesting study. I'd hope we get reca- recapitulation. I'm not sure it's going to happen in the UK because I think we get babied here too often. Um, we don't. Do, we're not allowed to have any kind of fun. The government always steps in and kind of curtails our enjoyment for some way, shape, or for some reason. I don't know why, but you know, uh, it is what you can do. I guess you, the only thing you can do is kind of you know navigate yourself to kind of safe spaces where they encourage or they they provide environments where you can partake in such activities, and then kind of keep those places to yourself. Introduce your friends to them, and kind of make sure the community kind of treats you with respect and doesn't really fuck it up. Really, that's only what you can do. Really, didn't it? Um, I 